warm up. What a mind game, dude. Uh, it's gonna be wow. Terry against Falcon is, is explosive. Like Mark obviously could blow you up too, but man, think about explosive characters in this game in terms of offense. These two certainly got to come to your mind. Between the go meter and everything else, Terry has just as like basic hit. Oh, they get okay. Oh, they're in it already. Coming down really aggressively there too. In disadvantage, you saw Terry throwing out some big hitboxes. Could have been punished, but weren't uh, really scattered out enough. Again, coming landing in with that as well. Get that forward throw there too. Set up the tech chase instead of trying to go for a down throw and make him land. I think it's a nice little mix up there from Dante's. Oh, he down to the grab. Ooh. Terry's oh. grab is godlike, dude. It really is, especially for um, like a FTC character. Mm. Definitely something he has uh, that the others could use a little bit. Oh, except for Kazuya, actually. He's a sick one too. Yeah. Very, very good grab. Up smash, not gonna connect, they're able to jump over. Forward tilt for Falcon, really good. I love the rising there to cover like the dead area between the ledge. The stall though on the upbeat. Mm -hmm. Enormous, I mean, as a Terry player, a huge thing in every matchup you're gonna play is you gotta be careful the off stage. Falcon's a character that can get kind of crazy off stage too. I already see some nares at the ledge. He can do a lot of stuff to steal that initial second jump that you have uh, and then kind of attack you when you're even weaker off the stage. So Terry's gotta be careful of the off stage game. Okay, rising tackle, I like that. Didn't go into the super or anything. Knew that the input rising tackle would take it down. Nice shot right there by Dante. So sick. Mm -hmm. Up be out of the little scramble situation. And honestly, like input rising tackle is such a I guess such a good option for this character too. Gonna find more damage off the up beat than throws as well. But mm -hmm. it's it, it's such an unsung hero for this kid. Jeez, that forward tilt. I mean, you want to talk about heroes of his kid, man. The forward tilt was ridiculous. And one of mm -hmm. Terry's best moves, honestly, on the ground. If not straight up his best. Like it's so good. Woo! -hoo! Okay. Oh, convert? No, not gonna find it. I'm trying to land it with a nair. So one thing we gotta work out of the commentary kit is, oh, was needed by lag. Like that doesn't happen anymore. Like he didn't drop that confirmed because of lag. Like it's impossible at this point. Like it's definitely just happened. So go, crazy, he nared out of that. He really get the throw throw off stage. Yeah, really got. Hey, he really loves these forward throws. By the way, I like the mix up. It's good. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody, you know, you kind of have your signature thing that you do a little bit differently than everybody who plays your character at the same level, and it definitely feels like Dante's is the fourth throw. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm definitely stealing that whenever I play Terry again. Ooh, the jump over from Stan trying to wait Ooh. for an option getting broken through, though. I love the zone break. Not going to connect on down smash. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I, th I think just wait and just let trap right there. You don't want to give up any frame advantage you have at the ledge. You whip that down smash, and you give up an opportunity to ledge trap later, which Terry can definitely do well. Auto turnaround, you know? Ooh, waited for it. Fortil gonna get traded out there. Another grab for it, though. You're telling me, man. You're telling yeah. me. I think that was a buffer grab. Like, I think he was going down tilt, like, tick throw, basically, like, on a shield. Oh, what the? The oh. spacing was beautiful. What are they waiting for? They're mm. waiting for, like, six options deep right here. Yeah, and this Terry, both of these characters actually are characters you don't want to deal with at later percentages. You know, the rage from Falcon. Look at this. Falcon kick. Between Falcon kicks. Oh my god, and all the options, I mean, it's, it's basically bustable coming out on the ground. All these grounded options to try to catch the opposition is really good, but again, we're seeing the down tilt into the input rising tackle. Very nice stuff there from Dante's. Got the lead again. Careful of those spot dodge though, man. He loves going for that, that uh, spot dodge cancel attack. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gonna convert off the up air there, too. And honestly, though, Stan is also really, like, getting in there. He, whenever he's in a scramble situation, I feel like he's opting for, like, up out of it, which can Ooh. be good. Basically, it's called out where there was a sick conversion off of that down air into... I don't even know, upbeat. Yeah. Dude, he almost got the down air dunk to finish off the game, yeah. too, which would have been sick, but... I mean, definitely Ooh. don't count out. Hold on. Rising tackle? Into That's rising close. tackle again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, come down with it. Okay, gonna kill, too. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Down but not out. Definitely have an opportunity here. <laughs> Goodbye. Lower the shoulder. Dude, I love... It's still my favorite sound effect in the game. This is that, that video clip... Or that, that audio clip of him saying that. Okay. Oh, burning knuckle. Catching a lot of Falcon jumps with that, actually, too. I like that. Oh, jeez. Mm -mm. Not this time. Oh, give me this grab. Gonna find some nares off the throw. Oh, we tried to get oh, back to stage God. early. The that was so scary. Counted, yeah. That was so scary, script, man. I can't believe he's still alive. Falcons live for that stuff. Between up tilt, down air, all that's... Oh, no! He's gonna hit nair through that. He's taking this. Oh, he's off stage. No way. Oh, the nair! The nair the kill he did! Oh, my God! What a oh trade, dude. God. We talked about it earlier, Script. The offstage plays are going to be enormous. Terry, you got to be able to defend yourself. He did just that. Put the cap on backwards. Went to work. Power dunked him. Literally. All the way down. Oh, oh he's popping. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Dante's feeling himself a little bit, too. That was so good. Yeah. It was close, too, because that, that kill screen, honestly, might have gone either way. Like, the Nair might have just been barely powerful enough to get that, that forward smash. Man. It was a gamble, I got to say. Yeah. <laughs> To say the least, that was you, a can't, you can't ask for closer than that, man. That's crazy. Uh, going right back, of course, the same characters. I, you know, don't think that was the problem. I think it was just a really good set play there. Oh, yeah, for sure.
man, firing back and forth. I mean, a stock lead does not seem to add up to a whole lot mm -hmm. uh, in this matchup between these two players, for sure. Oh, <laughs> get into it with the taunt. Going to FD here, I feel like their offense can be a little bit more overwhelming, but in the same vein, like for the opposing Ooh. player, it's going to be a really much, really harder time to get down uh, back to neutral from, uh, like, I don't know, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Some people might call this, uh, <laughs> I think the term is mashing, but I think what it is is uh, Dante is, is, and a way to look for it, like, as a player, is he's buffering everything out of his moves. You know what I mean? If he forward tilts, he's probably going to do something after it because he's doing it anyway. A lot of that pressure is safe, uh, as Terry, or if not safe, like, it's strong, so it's good to do. But the thing is, is you gotta look out for that. That's like a, a player habit you can look out for. So I'd like to see some punches coming out from the Cap Falcon here. Are you okay? We're living in the black <laughs> zone. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Stand Why still. Oh no! For it? Going a little too deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terry does have good magnet hits, but not that good. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, not see what I'm saying? Let's see. I see. He's buffering it, man. He's buffering it. Which with these characters, you can definitely do. Even that spot dodge, uh, canceled attack, same thing. So dash attack gonna do it. What a great move in the kit Terry has. Like. We talk about the other fighting game characters, the vanilla ones, Ryu and Ken. They have their dash threat isn't quite as good because their grab range isn't as good as Terry's. But between dash attack and the grab range that Terry has, he's ridiculously strong in that position where he's dashing at you. It's really good, and he's pretty fast in terms of his dash. So, oh, gets caught there up air. Trying to get a turnaround grab, actually landing behind his stance off stage still though. Mhm. Mm okay. Nice. The anti airs from Dante yeah, have been really good. You see this. Yeah, but it, like often with like crack shoot and stuff like that too, it covers such a wide area, and Falcon has to land so fast. It like kind of can cover most of the area he has available to him. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. Oh, good distance. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. He went for the double down tilt into the. I like that too. He went for the jabs into the power dunk instead. He's been doing a lot of rising tackle, which you can obviously react to the di. But if you're not thinking, you're kind of acting in instinct. It might not work out. Yeah, he definitely caught him there, lacking on the di. Potentially forward smash though to even out the stock. So we're. Back to even here. Mm -hmm. Dead even between these two, as an Asman script. I mean, it really came down to the wire last last time here. Even if, uh, even oh, if we do, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, he looks for that forward smash to end him pretty much every time. Couple down tilts, and I love the grab, man. His down tilt pressure is really good, Dante's. That's really good. He didn't catch him with the up air, but still landed enough to jab uh, his uh, Falcon's landing. Mm -hmm. Fourth throw, yup. Classic. Oh, he turned around. I love mm -hmm. that idea to get line up the back air. You either, you either need to do um, the raw back air. Oh, there it is. Nice. Burning Knuckle to close it out, man. I like that Burning Knuckle. He, he tried a couple times to catch. It's typically a jump. Falcons, they like to hop around too, especially in the corner. Mm -hmm. Easy to say. Uh, with FD, there's no platform to go to. It's like, all right, I'm not going to face the Terry head on. I'm obviously going to try to probably jump over him. So I like that Burn Knuckle, either trying to catch him in some movement, whether that's a jump or a dash or something like that. It was a really good call out, a really good uh, decision making mm -hmm. by the Terry there. So nice job to Dante's, man, taking that one down. Such I love good. That. Burst range. That's what you guys, I heard you talk about it a little more uh, during the set, but like the burst range Terry has, just some kind of those close mm. scrambles, is so ridiculous and so powerful. You can cover a lot of space and put out some really threatening hits, which yeah, um, for sure. really won the game there. It's kind of crazy because he went for a lot more uh, burn knuckles and stuff, which is like the more committal and harder read kind of option instead of a mm -hmm. crack shoot, which I always think of as like the uh, the gap closer or the burst option, whatever you want to call it. So mm -hmm. really nice job though, man. That's how you close out a set right there. I think that was the important part. One of the most important parts of that set was how, how you're going to close it out, because I got to say, uh, Stammer's Captain Falcon, definitely a threat uh, yeah. throughout the entire set. It definitely proved out to be a very scary character. So, And I think it really came down to the stage. You were just able to use those burst options we were talking about a lot more effectively to break through the zone. And there's, as you said, no platforms to break it up. But yeah, really good, really, really good set. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, what I like to, that's what I like to see. Helvet, what's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I, dude, and I like Terry. 